Once upon a time, there were two best friends. One of them had a computer, and the other one sucked. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Actually, villains, cops, killing people. Oh, hey. That's the whole description <laughs> yep, of this, our entire that's our, channel. Yep. I, I think I mentioned this in an earlier episode, but one of, one of our longest-running series uh, to date was uh currently our longest holy running shit. series did you see that yeah. parkour he like casually walked it jeez anyway he's got some hops oh. he's got some mad hops but uh yeah one of the longest running series uh to date was a uh a cop game a detective cop game half action half like puzzle solving and that's like what we launched to hey into look immediately next i get to censor again <laughs> Uh, it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the crime scene first. Yeah. All right. What's up, boobies? So, uh, really, I can't look at the fact that she has straight up tire treads. Yeah. Over her neck, like she was run over by a cyclist. We yeah. need to round up every cyclist. Fucking bikers. From the 1940s until today, and <laughs> charge them all with this murder. <laughs> Jeez. Man, cyclists. All right, I respect your healthy lifestyle, uh, and it's been said a thousand times before by people that aren't me. But learn, yeah. learn the fucking rules of the road. How many, how many fucking cyclists do we have here? Oh my god! That ride up on the goddamn sidewalk when there's a bike lane right fucking next to them. That is actually one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, use the fucking bike lane. Use the bike lane. Use the bike lane, please. Use the bike lane as a pedestrian. And that's someone who likes to employ the bike lane. Use the bike lane. And when you're in the bike lane, don't be doing any of this dumbass bullshit, riding with your hands down by your sides. Yeah, we get it. You're super fucking cool, right? You're super cool. She has, like, really well-sculpted boobs. Well, you brought that into this. Uh, I like, mean, they're not going to be able to tell. But the drivers that are driving next to you on the road are very nervous that you're doing that. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, accidents happen. And unfortunately, if it's car versus you on your bike, you know, it's, it's going to end a lot better for the car. Nine times yeah. out of ten. Unless you're driving some sort of grenade bike. <laughs> in which case, it ends badly for everyone involved. So, let's fucking... I wasn't expecting grenade bike. Let's fucking... Let's keep it calm. Let's <laughs> stick to your lanes, people. Let's obey the fucking... The fucking traffic lights... And let's, uh, you know, let's let's stop making bikes out of grenades. Jesus, I was not expecting grenade bike, dude. That's so good. Oh. What about not making so? Also, I think I think I'm gonna go. Uh, less. Less constant tracking with the censorship of this one. Yeah, less yeah. tracking. Less tracking. Less tracking? Less tracking. I mean, I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm just gonna censor one place and then just leave it there. <laughs> not even gonna track. No. I don't think so. Henry. All right, let's do this. Let's go kill a murderer. So, comment question of the day: If you were gonna be an inanimate object for the rest of uh, for the rest of time, what would you be? An inanimate object for the rest of time, huh? I think I'd want to be a lamp. Mm. No, no, a video camera. I'd want to be a video camera. I don't know. Do you know that or like? You finished? No. Let's call it free. An inanimate object. Yeah, it's not it's not sentient. So it, I mean, it is a living creature, but it is technically I don't know. Is it technically inanimate? I feel like it's technically animate. Yeah, it is technically animate. Oh man, we I, I apologize right now that we might lose uh we might lose some text on the uh on that one thing just because it was right over the boobies, and I just. I should care and I should put more effort, but I don't want to right now. But you're not gonna. I might. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how I feel when I wake up tomorrow morning. Because you don't do it for the kids. <laughs> I gotta you eat don't the do kids. It for the children. I gotta eat the kids for the children. Alright, so we're driving to the next part of this crime scene. We're driving right off the cliff. Coal valves. Are you gonna get in the fucking car, Galloway? Galloway, that's his name. So it would be a bad idea to drive off this cliff right now. Yeah. But so, you put the idea in my head. Do it. You've got to do it. It's time. Nah. 
peer pressure. Single peer pressure. So I did. I didn't ask you this when we when we won. Yeah, what a good friend. I, I didn't ask you this when we watched WrestleMania. What was your favorite match? Um, because mine was definitely the uh, the Shane McMahon AJ Styles match. Yeah, I mean I've always been impressed with Shane McMahon. Yeah, he, that, he's a crazy some bitch. More than enough. But, uh, I mean, Undertaker's last match, though. Yeah. The match itself, not awesome, but the sentiment at the end was Yeah, that there, was... And it was super cool. What? Don't make any All right. Okay. Hey, a woman. Yeah, She's like... The of my children. <laughs> that, that was... Don't tell me I, and and you can attest to this. Like the whole time, I was like, "Oh, this match was really average." Oh man, whatever. I wasn't really that invested in it because it really just came across as former football player bullies old man. Yeah, it kind of felt like that, didn't it? But like, and then you saw me like at the end of the match when he's just standing there when he put his like his his fucking sweet ass trench coat back on, I, and he was just standing there, kind of just looking out. I was like. Wait, is he actually retiring? And then I was immediately invested. I mean, honestly, it's about time. Yeah, he's getting a full hip replacement. Yeah. He's been putting that off until he was going to retire, fun fact. And, like, when you're doing something as physical as what he's doing, you know, you really, you really need that. What did I hit? I don't know. I have hit something. There is something right here. The invisible wall, I suppose. <laughs> really re-murdering Danny Phantom. <laughs> Fun, like, and especially, like, someone his height doing it for a quarter of a century. Like, and he, and he used to go, like, he was a full-time wrestler for a lot, for the majority of his career. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And being, like, six, ten, seven feet doing that. And like, with, like as mobile as he was, that's some crazy shit to be doing that for that long. Oh, absolutely. I don't doubt it. Yeah, but like, yeah, uh, like that WrestleMania was actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. But never in my life did I think Shane McMahon would be in the best wrestling match. I mean, on a WrestleMania. He has been my favorite since I've seen him do the, the fucking drop off the cage. Oh, this yeah, is fucking a... WrestleMania from last year. Yeah. When he fucking, against Undertaker, fell 25 feet. Crazy motherfucker. We, we've gone on this wrestling angle. Haha, <laughs> wrestling humor. For about three years now. Yeah, so, just about. Yeah. But, I mean, we needed to kill some time while we were driving, I guess. We've been doing it since 1962. Ah, a great year. The year I was <laughs> the born. The year I was born. I was about to be like, man, how crazy would it be if we were born in the same year, but we were? <laughs> uh, yeah, were we? Yeah, we're, we're five months apart. Five and a half months apart, approximately. Yeah, and yeah. that's true. What year was that again? Is that was the year of our Lord, 1962. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Excellent and, uh, year. It's don't we year also of... share mother's maiden names and first street we grew up on? <laughs> this is correct. Oh, is this, is this the one where we have to interrogate the little girl and we can charge her? No, that's a no, fever dream I had once. Yeah, that's... Whoa. What? All right. Weird. Weird. Strange. Weird. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Well, sometimes... We do have to interrogate yeah. the girl, but... Uh, I mean, sometimes... She, as I remember, girl. she's like the best yeah. fucking liar. No, if I remember game. correctly, like, uh, she was the fucking... We got her qu all, all the questions wrong the first time we played through this. So I'm definitely going to do... Seems irrelevant. Exactly that again. Yeah. It'll be great. It'll it'll be fun for the whole family. <laughs> ah. I could see that he was a glass hole. So the perpetrator is a glass totally empty kind of guy. Oh. Got he must it. be very negative. The only reason that I know it's a guy is because they showed that to me in the fucking intro sequence. I'm not sure this means much. Well, I mean, wash your... Are you kidding me? Nope. He's going to put it back on. Now I'm gonna touch the lemons. Gonna look at the lemon. God, what squeeze the lemon just a little bit. So anytime I see fruit and just like stuff like that, did you know that someone made an actual chart of the approximate uh, size of boobies with fruit? Really? Yeah. Do you care to care to explain further? You know, I'll look for it right now. 
What's a Google search? Google search. Ah. Uh, fruit and boob size comparison chart. I don't type. Typing's for cowards and casuals. And who the fuck plays the fucking violin in the 1940s? Doesn't tell me. I mean, you don't? I mean, no, I, mean, I who didn't. does that? I didn't play it in the 1940s. Yeah, because we were born in the 1962. Dude, I bet you this violin that she has in her room right now, if Some it were weapon. real and was not fictional, would be worth so much today. Yeah, like, like legit. Ah, shoe size. Oh, wait. I, I just saw it there. Okay, so now we got the eight shoe size. So okay. Eight. Which was the same size that we found at the first murder. Okay. I just had to check. Some people, you know, they got they got weirdly sized feet. You know, well, no, not, it's true. It's totally true. Me, for example, my feet are actually not the same size. Okay, so the estimated fruit size equivalent 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 equivalent, equivalent for an A cup is a lemon, a B cup is an orange, a C cup is a grapefruit, and a D cup is a melon. There you go. Now we learn. We learn today. We learn. We learned today. <laughs> so, do we want to look for that wedding ring in the next episode, uh, or do you want to do you want to scope out all the clues and then interrogate her in the next episode? This box is the murderer. We'll find the clues first, and then we'll go to the next episode. Yeah. I don't know if there's any? Do I have any intuition? I don't. Yes, I don't not. Know. We. I believe we used all of it. <laughs> yes. Hey, yes, we we'll did. rank up and we'll get an intuition. Whatever. I don't need that fucking notebook anyway. So, I gotta ask. I've actually, I've been wondering this for the longest time. There's a small part of me that's surprised you've never gotten your ears pierced. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I, you seem, you, you seem like you would have <laughs> your ears pierced. I found, I found all the clues. Okay. Press X to talk, but X is also closed. <laughs> We're gonna close this up. Oh. See ya. Press F to pay respects. <laughs>